everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Amen. Amen. Welcome to the St. Matthew Baptist Church located at 409 Holloman Drive in College Station, Texas. Yes, Amen. We welcome you to our worship service this morning. Amen. And we give God all manner of praise, honor, and glory. Yes, Amen. Yes. For he is worthy of all of our praises. Yes, Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We are, we are thankful, thankful unto God for all he has done. Amen. He has been so good and so kind to us. And I, I, I'm, I'm glad that, that there are those that still see the need and the necessity of the gathering of ourselves together. Amen. And, and corporate worship. Amen. Amen. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. Yeah. But, but it, it ain't worship on your couch with a cup of coffee. Yeah. Come on, let's just be real. Amen. You can't concentrate on God and all my children at the same time. Come on now. So I'm thankful to God that we have set aside this time to come into the house of worship that we might render unto God do praise. Somebody said, let the church be the church. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And so the church is the church when we get here. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I feel good this morning. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The, 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 the recognition and the understanding of the goodness and the grace and the mercy of God. Amen. Ought to put joy in your heart. Amen. Ought to cause something to, to rise up in you. Amen. That you just want to lift your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Amen. For all that you have done. Amen. So we're thankful to God this morning for giving us this opportunity. Go ahead and let that sister into the, the worship. Amen. Amen. God is good. So we will give you into the hands of our music ministry so they will bless us with music and then we will come back and we will have a scripture in the prayer and I I'm already forgetting what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Y'all know I've been sick. <laughs> Ain't that what they say? That's it. <laughs> you know, if, if I was going to sing, I'd go, <coughs> I'm, a little, I'm, a little, I'm a little hoarse today, but I'm going to try to do this. Amen. <laughs> we got them church excuses, y'all know. Amen. Amen. We're going to recognize those that have had birthdays. Amen. For May, June, and July. Amen. If you had a birthday in the month of May, June, or July, if you would stand on your feet. Let us recognize you. Amen. God bless you. For those same months, May, June, and July, those that are celebrating anniversaries, amen, if you would stand up so we can recognize you, amen, amen. <laughs>
God we serve. Amen. Somebody said he just keeps on blessing. Amen. Amen. Now, we will give you into the hands of the music ministry. Amen. And they will, will bless us and we will come back with the reading of a scripture and a prayer. And then we will hear the word of God. Amen. 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 I'm sorry, y'all. Right before, I just want to uh, the church to know that Riley participated in internationals in Dallas last weekend, and she placed second in overall out of 32 young ladies. And this is her first time to do this, so she did an excellent, excellent job. So we just want her to know that we love you, Riley, and congratulations. Holy 
I really miss smiling faces. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I drive considerable distance to see somebody <laughs> smile in this place. Yeah. It, it makes my trip worthwhile. Did you know that? Yeah. We're, we're, we're family here. Amen. I look forward to being here. Yeah. But I want you to look forward to me coming, too. <laughs> Show me some love. <laughs> Amen. I was going to read from the book of Psalms, but I've been working on something. And uh, I'm going to read that because it's taking me someplace. And it's in the Second Chronicles, the seventh chapter. beginning with the 12th verse. Mm. All right. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night mm -hmm. and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and yeah. have chosen yeah. this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, if I shut up heaven uh, mm. that there be there is no rain, no rain. and if I command the locusts to divide the land or if I send pestilence among mm. my people. Mm. Lord. My God. If my people who are called by my, my name my, my, my. Yes, sir. shall humble themselves Lord and pray. Jesus. And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open and my ears attentive unto the prayer that is made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house. That my name may be there forever and mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. And as for thee, if thou wilt walk before me as David thy father walked, and do according to all that I have commanded thee, mm. and shall observe my statutes and my ordinances, mm. then I will establish the throne of thy kingdom according as I have covenanted with David. Mm. Yeah. Thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man to be ruler in Israel. But if you turn away and forsake my statutes and my commandments, yeah. what I have said before you, and shall go and serve other gods and worship them. Yeah. Then I will pluck them up by the roots of my land which oh, I have given oh. them. Oh. And this house which I have oh. sanctified for my name will I cast out of my sight. Yes. And will make it to my be a God. proverb my and a byword among all nations. Wow. And this house which is high shall be an astonishment to everyone that mm. passeth by it. Yeah. So, the Lord shall, so that he shall say, why hath the Lord done thus? unto this land, unto this oh, house. God. May the Lord add a blessing to the ah, reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, sir. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Stop the word, if. Yes, Amen. Yes. <laughs> I remember uh, my, my Reverend Harris, M.H. Harris, he preached on if. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time. I remember that like yesterday. Yeah, one word, yes, sir. if. Uh, I'd just like to congratulate my brother for 40 years. Amen. Yeah. My sister for 40 years. <laughs> I remember my brother when he used to do that leg and track in school, him, Harold, and Philip and Rick. The Lord has brought us a long way. And, and, and I sure do thank him for it. Father God, once again, we just thank you for, for all you have done in our lives. Some say 40, some say 50, some say one, some say more. But Lord, we know that it was only you and that did it. So we sure do thank you. Lord, we thank you for blessing us one more time uh, along the way. Uh, like my brother say, bye and bye. 
when the morning comes. I, I thank you for that blessing of morning. Lord, I thank you for that, Lord. Uh, we know that it could have been night. We would have been seeing your face as it is. So, Father, we thank you. Lord, we just ask you to bless us one more time. You know how we are. We, uh, we always keep coming back. Because we know that you can do it. So, Lord, we just thank you and ask you to bless us one more time. Lord, give us strength to carry on in your name. Uh, Lord, you know that we can't deal with a lot. Uh, like my brother admitted, and I admitted too, I'm impatient. Uh, I'm not long-suffering. Uh, I'm a microwave. This is a microwave society. Lord, we want it right now. But, Lord, we know that you're an on-time God. So that's what we're asking for. We're asking for on time. Uh, we know that you're never late uh, because your word said you'll never leave us. So, Father, we just lift you up today in the name of Jesus, the power of his blood. Lord, we give you all the praise and honor that you deserve. No one but you, Lord. No one but you. Thank you for our family. Everything as well as it is right now, Lord. We uh, we know that it could have been the other way. We thank you for your healing power, Lord. I, I spoke to my, my daughter on the other day, and her cancer is still in remission. Lord, I thank you, Lord. I, Lord, I so thank you. I, uh, I'm helpless without you. Can't do nothing without you, Lord. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do nothing without you. So I uh, thank you, Lord, for touching her and keeping her. Thank you for our pastor, Lord. Uh, one more day, Lord. I uh, thank you for keeping him, uh, empowering him with the word of God. Thank you for our first lady, Lord. Thank you for being by his side all these years, Lord. Lord, we thank you for that, Lord. Uh, thank you for my wife, Lord. Uh, thank you for traveling grace yesterday in the storm from Kentucky. I kept on calling her. <laughs> she telling me, you know I'm on the plane. <laughs> but Lord, I knew you were the plane. So Father, I thank you. Lord, special blessing for my brothers in Christ, my laymen in the gospel. Lord, strengthen them, build them up where they might be torn down. My deacons, Lord, my trustees, my mothers, my sisters, my brothers. Lord, we just come to give you praise. No other way. No shape, form, or fashion, but just to lift up the name of Jesus. We just thank you. Come on now. We just thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, for all that you do, done, and going to do. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Forty years. definitely clapping for the Lord because uh, without him nothing is possible. Uh, he truly gave us his love this morning by touching us with his grace and his mercy. How many of you believe that? I, I wasn't as good as he was yesterday. I I didn't like somebody he told me to like, and uh, I didn't go where he instructed me to go, but his grace is sufficient, and I sure do thank you. Now how did I make it all these years? How did I make it this far? Through 
through the valleys and over the hills. I know it had to be God. How did I make it through the storm? How did I make it through the rain? If you want to know just how I got here, it's so easy to explain. amazing grace I made it this far by the grace it was God's grace it was God's grace it was God's grace his amazing I make it all these years how did I make it this far through the valley and over the hills I know it had to be God how did I make it through all the storms and I make it through the rain. If you want to know just how I got here, it's so easy to explain. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It's amazing. The grace, by the grace of God. By the grace of God. It was God's grace. God's grace. It was God's grace. God's grace. It was God's grace. God's grace. His amazing grace. grace. I made it. I made it. I made it this far. By the grace. Thank you for how you brought me, how you brought me through the night. Lord, you kept me, and you never left me. You stood right by my side. There were so many times when I came so close. Oh, man. Tried to take me in. So the reason I'm here is not hard for you to see. It's so easy for me to explain. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It was God's grace. It's amazing. the times when I strayed away even though I knew the word still I wouldn't obey but God's grace and mercy stayed with me and he brought me all the way it was God's grace
put something on my mind. We, we have some young people here today who made a great decision not very long ago and they married as the word of God directs us to do. And I want you to celebrate with me, brother and sister Gabe Martinez. Amen. Amen. Come on church. If we can celebrate sports, we ought to be able to celebrate Christianity. God is good. Amen. God is an awesome God. Yo, pray for me this morning. I am. Uh, Reverend Johnson got me all weepy early this morning talking about how God just forgives. Elders used to say he may not come when we want him, but he's always on time. God, thank you. <laughs> Amen. There's a, there's a word today, and I, I would pray that you would pray with me because uh, I would that we all would understand yes, how great God love that our God has for us. Amen. How much he has given for us yes, sir. and how much he loves us. Yes, sir. God is good. Yes, if you stand with me for just a few minutes and let's look in the word of God before I offer up a word of prayer. Uh, Father in heaven, we come now in the name of Jesus saying thank you for your many, many manifold blessings. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, yes. your kindness, your long suffering. Thank you for your healing power. Thank you for lifting the dark clouds from over our heads, you, allowing the sunshine of joy to come in again. Nobody like you, God. And we give you all the glory and all the praise. Now, as we stand in this place and look to you to teach us those things which you know we stand in need of, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing and acceptable unto thee. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen. Amen. The, church, the, 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 the Apostle Paul writes a letter to the church at Philippi. All right. And in chapter 3, you'll find the lesson for today. All right. Amen. Amen. Chapter 3 of Philippians. Amen. God is good to us. Amen. I'm not going to read too much, but I do need to read from verse 7 through verse 14. All right. Amen. 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 The writer says, what thing, but what things were gained to me? And I don't want to forget, but because it's here that he changes gears. All right. And he goes from one area of focus to another. And he says, but what things were gained to me, these I have counted loss for Christ. All right. All right. Yeah. Yet indeed, I also count all things loss uh -huh. for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, yeah. 
my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. Hmm. I have suffered the loss of all and count them as rubbish, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, Amen. Which is from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness which is from God by faith, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death, if by any means I may attain to the resurrection from the dead. Amen. Not that I have already attained, for I am already perfected, or I am already perfected, yes. but I press. Yes, sir. Yeah. He says, I press on in this new King James Version. In the old uh, original King James, it says, I press toward the mark. Yeah, yeah. But he says, I press on here that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has also laid hold of me. Listen, brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. He says the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. When you get Jesus, you come up. Oh, come on, somebody. And I want to talk to you today about getting up and going on. Getting up and going on. We can't let the cares of this world keep us in a place of fear or failure. When Christ saves us, he raises us up and gives us what we need in order to live for him. God is good. Amen. Christianity, my brothers and sisters, is not a day or two journey. It's a lifelong journey. We need to keep growing so we can keep going. God is good. First thing I, I love about what uh, the apostle writes to us, and not only the church at Philippi, yeah. Philippi but to all of us, yes, that, the, that there is a true ground of hope for sinners. All right, now. All right. But you can't find it just anywhere. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he said, this is the ground of the sinner's hope. And he said it, that I may gain Christ. Yeah. Yeah. That I may gain Christ. Paul was a good one to write this. Yeah. Yeah. Because he knew precisely who he was just the other day. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. He said, I persecuted yeah. the church. Yeah. Yeah. I held Stephen's coat while they stoned him Stone to death. Yeah. 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 I, I was a Hebrew of Hebrews. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. As concerning the law, I was a Pharisee. Yeah. Yeah. He said, you don't understand. I, I, I'm a Jewish person by birth but I'm a Christian by the new birth I had to lay down the rules and get the savior he's a mighty God so he says I I, 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 want to do this thing in such a way that I understand that my whole aim is that I may gain Christ that's why we come here not to see our friends we're family. God put us here. Somebody asked me not long ago, how can anybody stay at one church 44 years? I said, it's my assignment. Come on, somebody. And when you have your assignment, you're not looking around for anything different. And the devil will come for you, offering you these big uh, packages yeah. for pay. Yeah. But I'm assigned yeah. to this little piece of ground yeah. 
on 409 Holloman Drive in College Station, Texas. I was in my mid-20s, and now I'm 71. But he hadn't released me from my assignment. And if he's happy, I'm ecstatic. Come on, somebody. I, I said, if he's happy, I'm excited. I'm overjoyed. Because in order for him to keep me 44 years, he had to keep watching over me while I slept like a dead man. He had to keep healing me when I was sick in my body. He had to keep forgiving me when I fell and failed to allow me to stand in this place, not by my righteousness, but by his righteousness. Oh, come on. We got to get this thing straight. We're not righteous on our own. <laughs> but God sent Jesus, and in Jesus we are made the righteousness of God. What a mighty God we serve. So I don't get all upset when folk mess up. I mess up. You just don't see it all. We're all subject, the Bible says, to like temptations. We live in these clay houses. And this world is full of trouble. So he said, my chief aim is that I may gain Christ. I, 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 I must gain Christ. He says, uh, because Christ is not only the present gain for the sinner, but he's also a present shelter in the time of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. God is good. The wages of sin is death. And if we die outside Christ, we're in trouble for eternity. Can I get a witness? So I know I'll never be good enough in me for God to love me like he loves me. He had to love me before he changed me. Oh, come on, somebody. He loved me when I was in the ditch. Dirty, messed up, thought I knew something and knew nothing. But while I was a fool, he kept me cool. He didn't let me go crazy and lose my life trying to prove to somebody how tough I was. When you live in Oakland, can I tell you something? It's not like Texas. Nothing like Texas. And, and if, you, if you mess with the wrong woman, she'll whoop you in public. I'm not talking, telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I saw. I learned some things when I was in Oakland. I learned if you're going down one of these narrow streets like where my uncle and aunt live, 65th Avenue, and all these cars are parked in the middle of the street, and these people are outside their cars like they're having a party. Don't you blow your horn. <laughs> you, better get, you better find reverse. <laughs> And back up till you find a way to turn and go another direction. They want you to blow it then. They want you to tell them to move. You got to be wise enough to take a few extra steps. Amen to stay safe. God is good. Oakland was different, y'all. First day of my senior year in high school, I was... I was excited because it was a different school. And when I turned the corner and stepped on the sidewalk, I could smell marijuana. And I said, what in the world? And as I walked, it was like not only students, but grown people sitting out there with a joint in their hand. I had to pray, what are they going to teach me? <laughs> I, I may be in the wrong place. This is not a good lesson. And it's sure not a good look. And the worst part was nobody corrected them. 
Isn't that something? Uh, it was an adjustment. It is. Life is life calls sometimes for big adjustments. It's filled with transition, Reverend. You're right. And sometimes they're swift. <laughs> but the song goes on and says, Hold to God. Unchanging. Hand. He's not only our present game, but he's for the sinner, but he is our present shelter. So Paul says that I might gain Christ. Look, look, look with me for a minute. He said the person that I need in my life is Jesus who is the Christ. The Lord of heaven and earth who has all treasure of happiness in his keeping. Who is the supreme object of angelic worship and saintly adoration. The church ought to adore him enough to worship him on Sunday. And he ought not have to lean over to hear what we're doing. Amen. Let the church be the church. Let the people rejoice. For we have, past tense, settled the question. And we've made our choice. And if God's been good to us Sunday morning, ought to find us clapping our hands, saying amen, telling God thank you. And certainly if our children have grown up and moved out and he's keeping them to wherever they are, we ought to give him glory. We should not come in here acting as though we're doing God a favor by being here. God did us a favor keeping us so we can get here one more time. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. Our children all over this country and even outside, but he's keeping them. <laughs> he's a mighty God. I, I, I need to gain Christ. <laughs> uh, in other words, he's saying, all this stuff I had, I'll give up because my supreme object is giving him what he's due. And in order to do that, I've got to gain him for myself. He is the Christ. And when I gain him, I am a Christian. I am a Christian. I belong to him. Come on, somebody. I belong. He died for me hung on a tree in my place. He took a beating so rough and hateful that you could look through his flesh and see his bones for me. They put a crown of thorns on his head for me. Paul said, I, I, yeah, I was at the synagogue, but now if, you, if you're going to praise him down by the riverside, I'll meet you over there because he's worthy to be praised. Now he said in his word that the church ought to meet him in the sanctuary, but you can praise him anywhere. Is God good? When I was much involved in the, in, in, in the activities in the community, I wanted to know what they were doing on the civic side. Uh, I was okay until they asked me to pray. And, and, and they said, now the only thing you need to understand is you can't say Jesus. Excuse me? You can't call the name Jesus. If I don't call the name Jesus, I haven't prayed. So what you need to do, because everything I pray for, I do it in the name of Jesus. Everything I've got, I've got it because of Jesus. I'm in this room with you because he keeps on blessing me. And if you need somebody to pray and not call him, you better get somebody else. Because when I think about his goodness, all that he has done for me, my very soul shouts yet. <laughs> I, I, I haven't prayed. If I can't call his name. His name, one songwriter said, is the sweetest yes, name I know. And I know it's sweet for me because you don't know me from February 15th, 1953 yeah. 
until the day he saved me. And Reverend Johnson said this morning, he forgives. He knows your stuff and won't beat you up with it. What a mighty God we say. And when he forgives, he forgets. He does it intentionally in such a way that the Bible says he puts my sins behind his back. Because he's not going to look back to find something he already knows. God is good, y'all. He knows all about me. Never would I have imagined myself preaching, let alone pastoring. It was not in my plan. But Paul said, I, 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 that's why it's so important for me to gain Christ. I, I got to have a relationship with him for myself. I got to know how I made it through the storm and the rain. I, 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 I got to know how I'm keeping a roof over my head. I, I, I got to know how it is that when I don't have medicine, he can still make me well. He's a friend to the friendless. And the Bible says in his promises that he will never leave us alone. Bless his holy name. So Paul said, the Lord of heaven and earth is who he is. Uh, and, and, and we can be saved because he will give us his favor. Amen. 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 How is Christ gained? Not by tears? Amen. No, no. You can't cry your way up on salvation. Amen. We can't cry our way. We, we can't confess to another man. And be saved. Amen. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can't do enough good works yeah. to be saved. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Amen. We can't even suffer the loss of all things and be saved. Amen. Paul said, I gave it up for Christ. Yeah. 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 I had it, but I gave it. I counted it all lost yeah. Yeah. For, to have Christ in my life. When we get Christ, and there's only one way that we can gain Christ, and I like the way Paul put that, and that's by faith. Yes, sir. All right. All right. By believing. Yes. Yes. Amen? Yes. By believing. Yes. Amen. Mm. We are saved by grace, unmerited favor, yes, sir. through faith. God is love. So while we were still lost in sin, and though we had turned our backs on him, so much so that he had to put us out of the garden of perfection and, and, and put, a, put a, a, a work utensil in our hands so we would know how blessed we were, but he still didn't kill us. He put us out of paradise told us, you're not going to have to work in order to eat. Yeah. You're going to have to till the soil. Yeah. You're going to have to find a way to water the ground, something you've never had to do before. Yeah. Sin will dress you down. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Sin will mess us up. Yeah. And, 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 and we, we like to categorize it, but the Bible says this about sin. All unrighteousness yeah. is sin. So we need a God who is able Amen. to forgive all our unrighteousness, Amen. even though he knows all about us. Isn't God good? Yeah. He sent his only son to hang on that tree for you and I, and I don't want to take too long. My time is going away. But, but you can gain a whole lot of stuff in your life and lose it. That's why they call it bankruptcy. Yeah. Fly high one day, yeah. drop low the next. Yeah. Is God good? Yes, so he says, I, 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 want, I want something that is unchangeable. Yeah. Huh. Now, once you gain Christ, that's salvation. Yeah. You are a Christian. Yeah. 
and that position and that designation, you can never lose. Got real quiet in here. When you understand that we're not saved by our goodness to begin with, then we can appreciate the goodness of God toward us. Isn't that right? And the fact that he won't ever turn his back on us. He promised in his word, he that cometh unto me, I will never cast out. Hallelujah. God is a good God. He's a good God. So, so, so there's, some, there's some stuff that goes along with this gain. If, if a sinner doesn't get Christ, he'll lose his immortal soul. There's only two places, my brothers and sisters, that will spend eternity. One is up. And the other is down. One is heaven. And the other is hell. Yeah. And it's not up to anybody but us right. where we wind up. Right. Is God good? Right. Yeah. yeah. It, it's, I, I used to hear people talk about, well, if my boy wasn't running with those boys down the street, wait a minute, they were running with him too. Yeah. How do you know he wasn't leading them astray? Yeah. Right. Come on, somebody. I, saw, I sang at church, but I didn't go... Um, I didn't act churchy all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. yeah, I was choir president Sunday morning. I was band leader at the club Saturday night. But God's grace, yeah. God's unmerited favor is what keeps us. And I'll tell it because somebody needs to know we didn't get saved because we were good. We got saved because God is good. And we're going to be kept because God is good. And he does not change. Christ is the shelter for the sinner. <laughs> and Paul says, I want to be found in him, not in my own righteousness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. What do you mean your own righteousness? Without him, we have no righteousness. Amen. Amen. Am I right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. He, the one who is blameless, comes to our aid and, and saves us from our damnable lifestyles. Right. Yeah. He writes our name in heaven's book. Yeah. Gives us a place in his presence if we'll confess Christ, believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, receive him as our Lord and our Savior. Yeah. The scripture promises thou shalt be yeah. saved. Yeah. I like that about yeah. God. Yeah. I don't have to worry about the Kashyam no more. I talk about it because I want somebody else here to know. You don't come to God perfect. Yeah. 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 We come to God all messed up. Yeah. We think we know what we don't know. And what we have, we think it makes us better than other folk. Yeah. But it can be gone in the blink of an eye. Yeah. Isn't God good? Yeah. In the blink of an eye, salvation in Scripture is not defined as a debt. God didn't owe us anything. (laughs) He has given us everything, but he didn't owe us salvation. He did that because he loved us. How can you love somebody like me? Not only that, how can you love me in a world full of people just like me enough that you will send your only son because he is the only one who can hang on that tree and die and cause heaven to be made by grace through faith our eternal destination. God is good. God is good. And, 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 and when I think about his goodness, it makes me realize that when I was out in the dark thinking nobody was looking, Wherever I went, I took him with me. Come on, y'all. Because he would not give up on me. Wait, wait. God, you followed me to the hideaway. No, I walked with you. Because I had to keep you. I, I had my design on you. I had a plan for your life. So I went with you so the devil wouldn't kill you. (laughs) 
You didn't know it, but you had work to do. <laughs> what a mighty God we serve. It's not a debt. It's by God's free grace. Mm, unmerited favor. What a mighty God we serve. Uh, see, what we don't understand is that our entire righteousness depends on another. That's why we ought to shout. That's why we ought to smile. That's why yeah. we ought to be happy no matter what we're going through. Yeah. Because God said weeping may endure yes, for a night. Yeah. But joy cometh in the morning. Yeah. It won't be this way always. Put your trust in me. I will take care of you. The righteousness that I've got now is by faith. And it's from God. Yeah. Ooh. All right. It's by faith and it's from God. I don't brag about how good I am, how righteous I am. Yeah. Because Jesus said there's none righteous but God. Yeah. When the man called Jesus good, good master, he said, why you call me good? Yeah. There's none good yeah. but God. Yeah. Come on, somebody. On my best day, I'm capable uh, of messing up. Yeah. Is God good? Yeah. So even when things are going well, if I'm not asking for something, I'm thanking him for everything. Yeah. He's worthy of all praise. See, see, the ultimate object that Paul was talking about, he says he was safe when he was saved. And God promised never to leave you. But Paul says, I'm going to do all I can while I can. Yeah. Amen. Because I want to attain the resurrection yeah. from the dead. Yeah. That means when I die, yeah. my aim yeah. is to get up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. It's to get up. Now, you're saved when you're saved. Yeah. But I don't just want to be saved. I want to be saved and reanimated. Yeah. I want to get up in a body that don't have cancer. I want to get up in a body where I don't have migraines. I want to get up in a body where trouble can't touch me because God has done everything in my life and takes care of me. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. To a place where joy never ends. When I get up, when I'm changed, I can't stay here, but I can wind up in heaven. Somebody ought to say amen. I haven't always done what I ought to do. I haven't always gone where I should have gone, but I did attain Christ. I called his name. I allowed him to be my savior. I'm good because he's good. I'm here because he's everywhere. Is he all right? Is there anybody here that loves my Jesus? Is there anybody here that loves the Lord? If you know he's been good, why don't you clap your hands if you know he's real good? Why don't you shout amen? Tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul, writing my name in your book of life some glad morning. When this life is over, the elders used to say, I will fly away to a land on God's celestial shore. Is he all right? No sickness there. Is he all right? No crime there. Is he all right? No dying there. No hospitals there. Just joy. Joy, joy. Thank 
you, Jesus, for saving me. He hung him on that tree. He died. He was buried. Three days later, the Bible says he stepped out on resurrection ground. No power in heaven and earth in his hand. I hope y'all don't mind. I'm still that old country preacher. That grew up down by the railroad track. Had to chop wood, stay warm. Had to go outside because the house was out. Somebody don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can't go down the hall. You had to go down the trail. You know the stuff about this. God is good. He did it, my brothers and sisters, for you. You. Don't miss your blessing. Don't let the devil trick you. Stay with God. Once you're saved, <laughs> it's done. Amen. I hear people saying if he was a Christian, he wouldn't act like that. Well, I am. I am. <laughs> Christians need prayer too. But the one thing a Christian won't ever need is to be born again, again. <laughs> That's it, one time. And the devil hates it. He hates it. That's why he keeps messing with you, trying to steal your joy. Trying to sow confusion all the time. I'm not right, but I got right in me. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. God bless you. Come on, deacons. Come on, musician. This is a good time to tell God, thank you. And God, I want to be a part of your family by accepting Jesus. If I'm separated from my home church, I need to worship you regularly. And something about this place keeps drawing me back. If that's you, Jesus died. your way to the Lord. There's no better time than this. Put off today for tomorrow. Today is this That I should just give up what the devil, what the devil.
babies have grown up now they got their own families. Brother Tammy, it's good to see you and your family today. God is good. It's evidence that God's been keeping you and been good to you and your loved ones. We all not forget when you see somebody you haven't seen in a while, y'all let them know how glad you are. Amen. 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 Is that what you said today? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Bless his holy name. God bless you. Thank you, choir. Thank you. you. Preachers, deacons, all of you who serve to make this a worship experience. We came to praise God for no other reason but to give him glory. Amen. I see we have another young man with us today. Okay. Bless God. Good to see you, sir. We, we, we used to see your cousin. <laughs> Amen. On a regular basis, and thank you for coming. Please, if you're in the, in the area, come again. Amen. 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 Let's stand so that we can receive our benedictory. <laughs> Sunday afternoon at Clayton Missionary Baptist Church on Highway 60 here in College Station. Pastor and Sister Cooper will be celebrating their second appreciation. Amen. And that church wants us to come and help them give God praise. Amen. 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 So please come and go with us. Father in heaven, we come now to the close of this experience. Thank you for your powerful presence. Thank you for all the gifted people that you have placed in this place who live to give you glory. Thank you for them freely using their gifts and their blessings that others might be blessed. You got us up. Now we got to go forward in Jesus' name. Now, may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus, the Christ of God, the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Ghost rest, rule, and abide with us all now, hence, and forever. And the church all sing together with one voice. Oh.